It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Woods Shropshire Beers. They've been brewing beer since 1980 and it's a bottle of their Christmas Cracker coming in at 6% ABV. There's a look at the label. The, the description here is a seriously strong ruby ale. Looking forward to that. Red bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass. Oh, look at that. It's a lovely. Oh, I really doesn't want to produce much of a head there. I really went for that as well. I really give it a rigorous pour, but it absolutely refused to have any kind of head on the beer. But there we go. These things happen. Looks like a glass of, almost like a glass of black currant juice now. Uh, nice level of the carbonation. The beer was kindly sent to us by Beers of Europe UK, our channel sponsors. At the moment, you can get the 12 beers of Christmas on their website uh, coming up to Christmas. Um, yeah, if you have a look at the 12 beers of Christmas, you'll be able to order some of these beers. So, check it out. Aroma. Mmm. Toffee. Picking up toffee. But which kind of toffee? It's quite spicy. Kind of smells a little bit like mulled wine. Again, I'm picking up kind of cinnamon and, and ginger. Lots of spice. Let's dive in. Cheers. Ooh. It's a bit buttery. Just a little bit buttery. And I think that's why it's not created much of a head here. It's not huge. It's not. It's just really kind of silky and velvety. And it's kind of slick in your mouth. Nutmeggy, cinnamony, gingery, spicy. Maybe a bit of clove in there, maybe a bit of. Oh, I'm trying to think of the blooming word now. It'll come back to me. Uh, not lavender, the other one you buy. Oh, it's gone, it's gone. Uh, let's have a... Coriander, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, you get that kind of coriander taste in it also. Um... It's quite carbonated. It's not completely flat. It is quite carbonated so because the beer pushes around the inside of the mouth. As for the malt, and this is where it kind of falls down maybe just a little bit. The spices are really carrying the beer. If it wasn't a Christmas spice tale with, with lots of spices in, I mean, then I think the beer would be in serious trouble. It's, it's just, it's a mixture of roasted malt, it's slightly roasted malt, not fully roasted, but slightly roasted malt, toffee, um, sweet caramel, but there is a hint, and I will say it now because I have a lot of taste of the beer, I didn't want to jump the gun earlier on in the review, but it's there's a slight amount of diacetol in the beer. Um, diacetol is a, uh, it's a kind of an infection in the beer, um, it's when... 
uh, it's when they kind of turn the brew brewing process off too early. Uh, these are the ways you can get diacetyl in the beer. It, it, it's often rushed. Um, as I said, it's not massive, it's not huge, but it's still there. And if there's one thing that I can detect in the beer straight away, um, and one thing that I really, really don't like is diacetyl. So it's a bit of a shame that it's just there slightly. It's kind of, you feel it with it, with it being kind of slicky and silky and kind of syrupy in the mouth. And then you kind of taste it by that, that butterscotchy, buttery taste. It's not the worst diacetyl beer that I've ever had. Um, some people love it. Some people actually brew beer with diacetyl in because the locals love diacetyl and they don't really know what it tastes in. But for me, as a beer reviewer, I know what it tastes like. I know it shouldn't be there. Um, and it's not for me. But as I said, as I say this, it's not huge. It, it's kind of a little bit minimal. Okay, rating for this beer then. Uh, Woods Christmas Cracker, 6% ABV. I think I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. Six out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Why? The presentation of the beer isn't great. It, it, I had to pour really hard just to get the slightest of my head on the beer. Um, the aroma was a, a little bit of diastol and the taste certainly was of diastol. So a six out of 10. As I said, it, it, it's not the worst beer in the world. I've had a lot worse beers than this, but um, yeah, with diastol, it, 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 it shouldn't really be in the beer. Um, if you want to, you can check this beer out at beersofunip.co.uk. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.